it's the weekend again already. We got a brand new bunch of baits to show you. And uh, we got some bad weather in the area, so I'm just gonna try and get through this and then get back to watching the screens and the software that I've got. Um, right now, looks like a couple of cells out near Yellville, which is, um, that's Lake Norfolk, right through there. Calico Rock, Trout Fishing, Mountain Home is between the two lakes, between Bull Shoals and Lake Norfolk. Um, so there's a little bit of rotation. It's just mostly thunderstorms right now, but let's show you what we got going on over here. We've got a couple of holographic purple shad. These are customer orders. Those uh, Jetson Lure Eyes. I believe that he's transferring websites uh, in the process of he's building a brand new format for 2019 so that takes some time you guys are always asking where I get my eyes he's one of the premier custom eye makers in uh, in the United States some Rayburn red black eyes little black and gold scattered on the top which is cool I haven't done one of these in a while. This is a customer request. This is called Starry Nights, obviously, for clear reasons. Uh, the, the little shad dot kind of doubles as a moon, and it looks like we have all the celestial horizons on there. So th these are really fun to paint. Um, they're more art than, uh, than they are. Well, actually, I can't say that. These do catch. <laughs> There's not a thing that I've painted that I've proven that's on the website that hasn't caught fish, uh, or it wouldn't be on the website, and I stand by that. Um, but this is just cool. I mean, this is just something that's completely different. It's out-of-the-box thinking. Um, just neat. I love doing them, and I did a couple of these. Um, just to show you guys, I am going to take one and fish it uh, this spring. And again, uh, you get you go from the sunrise and the horizon into twilight, into dark skies overhead. So just something neat to do. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that before, but it is available on the website. I, I continually update and improve patterns, so you may have seen an older version of it when it was on originally. Lots of requests for the Dirty Red Craw. Thank you, guys. These are so cool to do. I love doing Dirty Red Craws in the spring. It's got that pop fluorescent orange on the belly and the craw segments. These, uh, the customer requested the red glow holographic eyes. And then I've got uh, a couple of repaints for customers in Strike King 1.5s. And you can tell it's a repaint because you can see a little bit. See, and that drives me crazy, guys. Look at this. You see that blue hard shell underneath? That's from where the Strike King folks tape off their baits, and they do it into a point, which is very convenient and very fast, but it just kind of looks, eh, um, which is why I like to do as little real estate painting on the bill, none at all, unless it's a wiggle wart. I like that clear, hard bill, um, keep it nice and strong. But we've got those. There's four of them. They're all 1.5s. And some of them aren't quite as noticeable, but that blue is... And you can't really just dig into the bill and get that paint off. I mean, that paint is, is in there uh, to stay. So it is what it is. But still, Dirty Red Craws, lots of fun with these baits. Thank you guys so much for requesting them. I love to paint them in the spring. And red, 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 red is a great color. This I did yesterday. This is my baby pike with those jets and lure eyes again. This is on a holographic pop. Floats very well, swims very well, walks pretty well. I would say on a scale of 1 to 10 on walkability, I'd give this about a 6 or a 7. But the water displacement is good and it chugs good. Um, it, 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 almost behaves the exact same as those pop bars. This is basically a replica of that uh, that P70, I want to say, in a holographic format. And the cool thing about these is there's no overspray or glue where they have the uh, 
the foil down on those. A couple of warts. This is the Ozark Crawl. And we did the, uh, the arms of the crawl on both sides of this bait. Kind of neat. Love doing those crawl arms. And yes, these are stenciled in. Um, and it's not even a crawl pattern stencil. I just found something that looks just like the crawl arm and the, the pincer claw. And there you have it. And then again, on the goblin. Now these have become real popular as well. And this is a little bit more of that 3D overspray. Just a neat effect when you, uh, when you turn your PSI down and learn how to spray lightly. Uh, I've been reading a lot of questions on the Brotherhood page and I get a lot of questions in my, my YouTube and my emails on how do you spray these kinds of effects. It's just pressure control. You, have to, you just have to practice. So for those of you that ask that question, just write down on a piece of paper, I will practice my airbrush every day 20 times and then go practice your airbrush. But that's all that is. It's just trigger control, pressure, and a little bit of reduction if you guys want to. I don't reduce. Um, some, some guys are saying, eh, try the reduction. You're going to be amazed. It's like a, you, you know, you get to that plateau and uh, you paint it the same level and the same level. And then all of a sudden you do one thing different and it changes your entire outlook on how you spray. This is also a, a customer's request. This is going to be going out today. See if we can get that focus there. Why is it not focusing? There it is. I always have issues with focusing on this camera. Maybe it's because of how close up I like to get these baits. I like to really show you guys these baits and I hope that you appreciate that as well. Um, I don't want to hold them back here because it's like, I, you know, if I'm showcasing the baits and teaching you a little bit about how I'm spraying these things, and turning this into a, a true workshop, which I do try to do um, every time I give you guys an update. Again, it's just stenciling, it's pressure. This is obviously several stencils um, built up and then just learning which paints to put down first. So obviously I would do this completely white uh, as a primer because you want to have true colors on this and, and that one of the best ways to keep your colors true right out of the brush is to lay that opaque white primer down. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, build a dark spot in the center of this bait. Once you build that dark spot, you don't want to do it black um, because veins are not black. Veins are like a deep red so if you have a a deep red or a root beer or uh, anything that's kind of a purplish, you can do that. And then you bring your first stencil in and you spray white again. And that leaves the veins red. As you can see, the veins are red in this. And it gives you uh, uh, kind of an illusion of depth because when you put the lungs in, which is, or the, or the peeled away skin or segments, um, it almost looks like you can lift that up and see underneath. Um, and that's just black shading on top of all of it. So once you figure out the, the level of detail and the, the stenciling that's involved and just slow way, way down, slow way down. Don't blow your paint out of your gun. Uh, it's, it's, it's just practice. It takes practice. Um, some, some of the new spray gunners out there, they're like, well, how do I do this? And we can't, we can't do it for you, but we can teach you a little bit of technique, and that's what we're trying to get you guys to learn is the techniques behind it. So just be patient, keep practicing, and you'll get there. Another bait with John's eyes. This is just that blackback shad, that red throat, and those orange eyes. Now I do have quite a bit. I ran the ran the orange all the way to the back of the bait as opposed to this one where it's just on the throat. This is kind of a bullseye um, and I would kind of I would use this probably in, in clearer water. This is definitely a muddy water bait because you really want that significant look. You want that profile and darker colors will do that plus the rattles are real good in this. 
And then I see you guys eyeing this up. I see what you're doing there. So if we clear all of this away, you guys can see this. And one of my uh, one of my pro staff and and a good friend of the family's sent this in, Richie, and uh, said, "Hey, you know, we're seeing these in the rivers. They're this color. Can you can you work on it?" I said, "Sure." Um, and if you look pretty much a, an exact color match for the tonal qualities. Um, you can see that I've used, there it is. If you look at this, there is a pink splotch and, and I'll, let me go ahead and flash the picture above so you guys can really see what you're dealing with. But there, there is pink and lavender in that black eye. So basically all I've done here is recreated that through a hand cut stencil and kept it right on the eye and that's once the eyes in place but yes there is some free hand in here I, I feel like I got a little heavy-handed with the shadowing on this but again I'm learning every day too so this is this type of stuff is just as much of a learning practice session for me i give myself spray sessions all the time and, and you guys should too um but again it's it's a learning always learning you're always learning as long as you're spraying you're gonna learn i hope i hope that you guys learn everybody's like where do you get these eyes some stuff i'm just not going to give the ghost up on because i want you guys to do some research just pretend you're in school, pretend you're back in school, and you get that homework assignment. It's out there if you look for it. You have to know, you know, just to look. I mean, the, the internet is filled with mindless fodder, but it's also filled with really cool stuff, and if you, uh, if you look hard enough, you'll be able to find what you're looking for. But that is all the news that's fit to print for a Saturday morning. I'm going to get back to the Weather Channel and uh, see what's going on. And I hope everybody stays safe in Arkansas and Tennessee and Mississippi. Missouri is under thunderstorm warnings right now. And let's hope that it doesn't turn into any kind of tornadic activity. So uh, I know hope is not a plan of action. That being said, if you guys are in the danger zone for today's storms, make sure you know where your safe spots are. Stay out of the lightning, folks. Um, don't travel if you, unless you absolutely have to. And um, we'll see you on the flip side. You guys take care. Have a great weekend. Spray session should be coming out tomorrow. I'll see you later. Cheers.